Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a video for all of you makeup artists out there. Now hold on, before you leave, hold on, before you leave. This can be very useful for everyone else too. This is just an example. This came from a meetup request last night where I met a girl who said, I wanna do makeup tutorial, but I wanna be able to have the little icon where I show one eyeshadow that I used and then another. And I'm like, oh yeah, let's totally do that. So that's what we're doing today and let's go ahead and jump right into it. Welcome to Shelly Saves the Day. On my channel, I do tech explained simply and video editing made easy. If that sounds good to you, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Let's go ahead and jump into today's tutorial. We are going to be talking about how to apply an overlay to an item so that you can highlight it as something that you were using if you wanted to show visual interest on the screen for, let's say, a makeup tutorial in this instance. So today we're gonna to be working with a Jouer Metamorphose palette. This is not only a beautiful palette, first of all, look at it, right? It's so gorgeous, but it also has a philanthropic effort behind it where if you purchase this palette before 1010, 15% of the proceeds will go to the Chrysalis Foundation. So I think that's really awesome. So I went ahead and got this kit. I think the packaging is really pretty, but I wanna show you what you would do if you were a makeup tutorial and doing something like, I'm gonna insert a little photo here, where you can say, first, and I'm wearing this palette today on my face. I'm using the blush, I'm using the highlighter, I'm using the eyeshadow. So I wanted to go ahead and show you what I would do if I was a makeup tutorial showing you how I achieved this look. So one of the first things that you're going to do is you're gonna make sure that you either take some sort of B-roll or you're going to have a still shot of your photo. So let's say for instance, I'm holding it here, or perhaps here, or you get the idea or you have a separate shot where you're showing just the product itself in a beautiful b-roll shot what you're gonna do is you are going to export a still frame from your video editing software so it's gonna be right up here in the corner and the little thing that looks like an arrow what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like take a screenshot and go ahead and export a still frame here and we're gonna bring this into a photo editor you can use Pixlr you can use GIMP you can use PicMonkey Canva Photoshop whatever you want this is, we're gonna go ahead and start with this. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna fire up your editor and you're going to create a transparent background image of basically a 1920 by 1080 shape. And the reason that we do that is because that is the same aspect ratio of the video that we're shooting. So we wanna make sure we have that. Then what we're gonna do is that still frame that you just took, you're gonna bring it in as a layer. And then what you'll want to do is choose what kind of transparent um, image that you're gonna be using. You know, for an instance like this, because it's a lot of butterflies, you could use a little butterfly, you could use a heart, whatever you wanna do. You can use a little emoji, just to indicate which item you're going to be selecting. You're gonna take that image, and there's a whole bunch on the side. Let's say I'm using PicMonkey, there's a whole bunch of uh, graphics here that you can choose from. I'm gonna select one. I'm gonna place it directly over the screen image capture that we got, that way I can make sure that the image is going to be exactly sized correctly. Then what we're gonna do after you have it on there and you like it, select the layer of the photo frame that you just brought in and then delete it. So what you're left with is going to be a transparent image that has the overlay on top of it. What you're gonna do is export this. Make sure you save it as a PNG so it maintains that transparent background. Now we're gonna bring it into iMovie. Okay, when you get to this portion of the video editing process, you're gonna go into your video timeline. You've got your video image here showing the product. Now we're going to make sure you bring in that PNG that you just exported from your video, from your photo editing software. And we are going to place that on top. Make sure it's on top, not below, on top of your video timeline. Okay, make sure you have it lined up correctly so that where you have it is going to correspond exactly to when you want the product to show up with the little heart. We're gonna line this up here. That looks pretty good. And you can insert a still image which is going to be by default usually four seconds. You can trim it down if you need to. So then you're just gonna make sure that overlay is gonna pop up. It's right in the position that you want and then you're gonna keep on going. And it's as simple as that. Now one thing that you may not have done, I, for this example, I wanted to show this is the pin that you got as part of buying the package from Jouer, and it's a beautiful butterfly, and I thought that this would be a really cool image to do as a PNG, but the thing is that this is a real object, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna just do a quick experiment here. 
We're gonna take an image of it just as itself against a white background. And then we're gonna go into, there's a few different ways that you can do this. You can go into remove.bg and you just make sure you crop to where everything is kind of white all around it or a solid color background. You can go in and that website will kind of remove automatically. If you want to, I have a video as well where I show you how to use the eraser tool in PicMonkey and you could do that up here and I will go ahead and link that. I also have a different video where I'm showing you how to do the same thing in GIMP. If you haven't checked that out, it's part of my green screen series and I will link that video up here as well. So there's tons of ways that you can do this. There's even an app that I just also did a video on. And if you haven't checked that one out, that one was pretty recent and last video, I will link it here and in the description down below. So whatever method you wanna do, we're just gonna take this photo of this butterfly and we're gonna remove the background from any one of those ways that we just mentioned. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back into the photo editing software. You still have that still frame that you had before that you took out from the video editing software, right? When you exported the still frame. Now we're gonna go in and bring in as an overlay into the project that we're working on, we're gonna bring in the beautiful butterfly pin now that we've removed the background and we're gonna do the same thing. So instead of a heart or a star emoji or a smiley face, this time we're gonna use the beautiful butterfly. So this I think is just kind of a cute way to spice up this because it still is in keeping with like the butterflies and showing you, you can take photos of whatever you have if you wanted to have your own custom overlay on top of your video file. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up and comment below if you have a video that you would like to see on this channel on video editing because I love making them. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I don't take it for granted. I will see you in a video very soon. Bye!